Okay, just wanted to show you a quick look at the A Star tutorial. We've got this nice little scene from a free asset on the asset store. So if we select uh, this, where's it gone? This cube here. This is actually going to be our nav mesh, and we can create that by clicking on scan, and that then overlays a series of cubes showing everywhere that can be walked and not walked on the nav mesh. So that's kind of handy. If we then have a look at, we've got this Mukatar game, this is our enemy. He's got a seeker script on him and some scripts to make him walk and turn and whatever. And he's seeking this sphere. So if we zoom in and we run the game, you can see he'll draw a blue line to where he's going. So he's after that sphere. So if we start moving it, you'll see how that blue line goes around the buildings, so we can see him going around there. Let's move it right over here a second. And let's then just zoom in on him for a moment. So there he is. You can see he's going around all of the obstacles as he gets to our target sphere. So it's all pretty straightforward. Um, the code's explained in the article. So I'm not really looking at the... Ooh, that's not very good. Don't try and move him. Try and move the sphere. Right. So, yeah, hopefully it makes sense. If we go back and zoom out a bit, uh, we'll have a look at him running around somewhere else. So you can see it's pretty fast. It finds a route pretty quickly. It's using multi-threading to do that. And, uh, yep, yeah, there he goes. So I'm going to stand on this rock. <laughs> go around here and he keeps finding a path for all of the various different places to get to us so there he goes hopefully uh, that shows you basic a star in the next episode we'll be looking at using a star to do something slightly more complicated we'll be looking at using it to find pinch points and have uh, special behaviors when the enemy's under threat but that's it for now